This is a very exciting press con for Hero TV. Please um, take pictures, take selfies, and take um, images of our press con this afternoon and kindly hashtag Hero at 10. The at should be spelled out, pero yung 10 yung numbers. Okay, hashtag Hero AT and then the number 10. All right, Hero TV sends off our country's very first competing participants to the World Cosplay Summit and we are all very excited for that but before anything else let's watch this video Costumes that they will be wearing during the World Cosplay Summit, um, but we will be seeing those um, those costumes. Um, some mga videos na mapapanood natin on some coverages that will be airing soon. So again, I ask you to take your seat right there. Um, this afternoon, I'd also like to acknowledge, aside from Sarah and Jennifer, who will be our representatives. Um, World Cosplay Summit Philippines Futomi Nomura, Assistant Project Manager. Hi. I have my questions in here for him. And from Anime Alliance Philippines, Ms. Kat Barameda. Sila po yung mga partner organizations ng Hero Face Off dun sa mga qualifiers natin in the past um, um, few Hero Face Offs. And so, we shall start this afternoon with... Um, our, qu our questions for our um, contestants for the World Cosplay Summit. 
Sige. I'd like to start with, how did you get into cosplay competitions? Teka, sino si Sarah? And sino si Jennifer? Sarah and Jennifer. Alright, so how did you get into cosplaying? She has to remove it. <laughs> And of course, Sige, before you answer my question, I'd like to call in our channel head for Hero TV, Ms. Jojo. Okay. Uh, I've been cosplaying since 2009 and I've been participating with uh, local events, uh, contests from box back home and um, at first it was just uh, for the usual fun just to try it actually I wasn't into it yeah so what's your influence my influence is uh, actually at that time I had no idea about cosplay when I searched through Google I just saw people wearing costumes and portraying characters. I still had much to learn back then. And then I, I didn't know I didn't know famous cosplayers were active here back at, in somewhere in other countries. So you could say I was living in a cave. So none of your friends were into cosplay? I have I have met most of my friends right now through cosplay. Uh, they've been a big help in my life. Uh, um, siguro sa college and high school, ako lang yung acting sa cosplay. Okay. They're very supportive. Okay. And, uh, oh. um, this is actually my first air competition. I got asked by Ate P about a year ago if like, hey, SJ, can you like, want to pair up with me for the BCS. So this is my first sabak, kumbaga, into a like, pair competition. And it's been pretty overwhelming so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Thank you, ladies. Um, questions from the floor? See your name and um, your publication or site. Jayagoraydanamoy.com. Good afternoon, SJ Ping. Okay, so uh, I have uh, two to three sets of questions here, so I'll just uh, roll it on the floor. So for the preparations, uh, how are the preparations and uh, how frequent are you practicing during uh, these days and weeks in preparation for the World Cosplay Summit Championship? Um, when Ping Ping got back from Manila, we managed to come up with the choreography of the skit in just one day, like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to. Because we, we only had the, like about a month left till the competition. We were brainstorming and researching about uh, the characters more and more about the game itself. Cause, because uh, Ogori san said that uh, since we are now a uh, competing country, we have to upgrade their skit, you know, play, put a climax in the story. So for the third time, we changed our skit, upgraded it, upgraded it, and I think it's much more better than our previous ones. Follow-up question, are you confident with the skit that you have prepared for the championship? Um, we worked really hard for it. Uh, in terms of practicing and putting our passion into it, uh, we gave it our 100%. We got injured a couple of times. Actually, yeah, we got bruises and cuts. Bruises, cuts. So it's so just, you know, just continue. Now we're back. Wait, break, break. Wait. Then after a few minutes, it's okay. Practice again. Yeah. So right now, we're giving it all our all. We um, we're not slacking, not even one bit. Um, right now, all I can say is that our skip is full of. Uh, there's a lesson in it. Not just. We wanted to put our original original idea on it at the same time combine it with the original plot of the story. So it's kind of like a mixture. Um, we wanted to put 
our but own creative like spin on the story and a moral lesson to it. So I hope that um, everybody can. Uh, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy our performance. Yeah. Okay. The next question that I will have is about your costumes. You've been updating your Facebook and Instagram with the updates on their costumes. So our last update uh, for now, uh, how, how are the costumes right now? They're tightly sealed and packed <laughs> with love and care. <laughs> I, we hope they make it safely like to Japan. <laughs> Lock and loaded kumbaga. Yeah. And uh, from the itinerary, there will be two free days. So that's two days where you can have your free time. And uh, with that said, ano ang plano nyo or saan nyo plano pumunta during those days? Um, we're not very familiar with, <laughs> with yeah, Japan, so um, we're hoping First that actually I'm went there last summer, um, but this time it's a different area. It's in Nagoya, so I'm not familiar with the area. But um, we do have uh, places to go to according to our schedule. Okay, I guess that's about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Alice, a question? Uh, Eugel, yeah. from Philippine Star. I'm Eugel from Philippine Star. Uh, <clears throat> to Miss Jojo. Yeah. What can we expect from the campaign uh, of our compatriots? Uh, is this do you have a strong chance of winning, or parang just like the national basketball team when uh, joining the World Cup is ayun na yung goal, no? not winning all the way? Because this is the first time. Um, actually, since of course we want to win, there's uh, I think that we you know we have a good chance of winning. Because um, when we when we went before as of, uh, during the observer status. Um, there are also a lot of um, um, a lot of Caucasians in Sumasali and in the European countries, of course the US Sumasali. And you would think na mas when it comes to already the costumes and all, yung tayo yung suited kasi Asians eh, very ano dun sa anime. And I think hindi naman tayo magpapahuli dun sa drama, dun sa um, dun sa um, skip me lang for the competition itself. Ako, I think that, you know, if um, everything goes into plan, meaning that what they prepared exactly happens na walang foul ups or walang problema, I think they have a good chance. Ako, I, ang feeling ko naman is when we send somebody for the competition, we don't just want to join. Of course, we want to win. Kasi, ano eh, um, it's about creativity eh. And um, yun ang hindi kulang sa atin eh, bilang mga Pilipino. We are very creative people. So, um, and ako for me, it will be ano eh, they will be a, uh, a novelty sort of, in a good way. Kasi they're very petite compared dun sa ibang lumalaban. Na talagang makita mo matatangkad, mga ano, and then some of them, yung ibang costumes sila, they use, um, you know, big platforms to make them look tall for their, ano. Pero yung aking feeling ko, that in itself will make them stand out. Does the channel have po a say in what they will perform, and even the design of their costumes po? Uh, no, it's really, it's really up to them because from the beginning, it's part of the process of um, the, the yeah of selecting that they have to um, win in a certain leg of the qualifier, and then dala dala na nila yung ano nila kung ano yung um, skit nila or kung ano yung performance nila. Um, do we give some pull from ABS UB and Lifestyle? Uh, po, um, what are your day jobs? As I told you, I'm not sure. I usually help out at the family business back home. Uh, it's just an hour and a half drive away from Dabao. Uh, 
and then at morning, uh, I help the family, and then at night, I do the cocktail costumes. So, uh, you know, Chinese next time. How old are you? I'm actually. Uh, would you like to guess? <laughs> Twenty. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually twenty-six years old. Okay. So, uh, regarding with our physique and costumes, we we go by flexibility, I guess. We work out for our character. Like for example, for example, my character right now is a male, so I try to be. I guilt kopo is um, to be a little bit boyish. So when I try to be girl, a feminine, but um, I as woman as possible. How about that? Um, I'm actually a registered nurse. <laughs> yeah. Um, I used to work at an emergency department at a private hospital in Nava. Then my contact ended, and then I started making costumes for heroes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're how old? I'm 23. She's my seventh time. Okay, this almost crossed in my mind when Jemen uh, mentioned it. Uh, no. So you have you are a pair. Aside from being Team EXO, you uh, have a page called Eureka. So, uh, matano ko lang. How 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 did you meet each other? Uh, how how senpai and kohai met each other? Actually, it's very. Uh, we met before uh, before I cosplay. Uh, it was around my I think second year college. Uh, that I met her, but at that time she was a very silent girl, like wouldn't even like talk to <laughs> me, like just sort of, sort of, sort of like that. So I just, yeah, very introvert person. So, uh, and then I think on 2011 I decided to retire from cosplay. Uh, I stopped for three years, and then one day I just thought about, hey, why not end it with bang or something, just one more performance. So I was scouting out um, partners. I got turned down several times. Uh, um, the common comments were, uh, they were pressured by me. I don't know what, what they meant by that. Um, but. I, I guess I suppose that when it comes to cosplay, I'm very serious about it. Um, the acting, uh, how the details are being worked. Siguro, yeah, very strict I don't know why. And then, at that time, she was very active in cosplaying. And then, one of my friends suggested her. So I was browsing her, stalking her Facebook. <laughs> and then, I... I saw her pictures and her determination to uh, towards making her costumes. She makes her own costumes, I make my own costumes. So we have this similar, like, wow, okay, um, she has potential. I see that in her. And then one day I just plugged up her and, hey, SJ, uh, I don't know if you know, if you know me, but <laughs> would you like to pair up with me to uh, this uh, competition for the World Cosplay Summit? It was an ultimate senpai notice me moment. <laughs> I got noticed by senpai. And, okay, ito, medyo provocative lang. Yawi or Yuri? <laughs> Yawi or Yuri? <laughs> I mean, I, I think we go both ways, but our page is kind of like gravitating towards Yuri. Yuri? Yeah. Best Yuri? Who's best Yuri? <laughs> uh, for your, I don't, 
Uh, our current cosplay page is inspired by Tamen de Gyushin. It's a Chinese uh, manhwa, manhwa. Their story, it's about these two girls. It's all fluffy, fluffy. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> like fluffy, cute story. So we were I'm the, I'm the girly girl. She's the, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the yeah. pretty but tomboy. Yeah. So it's much more appropriate. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> <Play muna. laughs> so you should play play with your strengths, de ba? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So we don't just select a character, but we kind of fit our personality and. Tingnan namin if babagay mas amin, kasi we don't just like pick. Oh, I want this character. Ano yun? Kasi ayon naman din namin parang uh, ano ba? Parang hindi ba bigyan ng justice? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Jeremy from my friends. Um, can you tell us yung ano yung process ng transformation yung uh, paano yung Mga preparation na ginawa nyo, how strict ka pagdating lang sa, sa ginagawa nyo, sa ginagawa nyo. Um, at first, we met up for the first time and we were talking about uh, performances. We sort of like stalked other teams uh, to see how What's like the standard in yeah. the world because they some yeah because it might be different in our country yeah so we were trying to study them and then the next thing we did was picking out a character and it was and then, uh, yeah early on we decided that we wanted to be able to move in our costumes that it's um, we're not gonna sacrifice movement for aesthetics or beauty uh, beautiful costumes from we wanted this for the first ano pa lang na it's going to be an action oriented skit so we wanted something light yeah but because, we wanted something like deep cool pa rin din yeah because uh papansin niyo din if we go for mega we would increase our mobility so we can study that walang facial expression so yeah mahirap to express your feelings just through pain movement yeah so and then we went to cloth but then we decided uh, well, how about we combine them? So she she researched a lot of characters at that time because I was sort of busy preparing. Um, and then she jotted down the list top, yeah, list top five. And then together we selected it. And then yun process of making uh, started buying Research. started buying materials together. And then brainstorming at the same time for the skip of uh, performance. I mean, and every uh, after I think when we finished making our costumes, we secured it. Uh, we then had practices on our skits, and as much as possible, we practiced every day for like five hours, four hours. And then I would, uh, when it comes to being strict, um, if my something wrong in the middle. I would. It. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so harsh, but it helps, naman. It's kind of like it helps you like push yourself to do more. Yeah, like um, when I see her action when she punches, uh, I say, uh, parang iba or lampating na so. Oh, ganito ganyan ganyan dapat ganito uh, again again again. <laughs> yeah, you can say I'm a bit strict. Uh, only because I wanted it nice outcome um, to be yeah for uh hindi lang kasi para sa ano but we have to show it kasi our determination and yung ser uh pa yung pagka serious namin towards our perf uh, performance kasi that's how we know cosplay. Uh, hello. Uh, another question. You mentioned about you stop other contestants. So <laughs> you study them. Oh, uh, you study them. So. Ano yung na-discover mo and ano yung tingin mo, edge mo, kaya kayo mag-stand out? Um, I've noticed kasi like, some are more action-based, some are more on theatrical performances, like dances, some even doesn't have any lines at all, so they're just like, 
dancing and moving. But but uh, even though ganun, um for me it's uh, I like to see ano mo yun, uh, I like to watch ano ba yun, theatrical performances. So I very much appreciate we very much appreciate those kinds of ano, form of art through cosplaying. Uh, and it's not just always fight one character, fights this character, and then one gets defeated and one wins, and you know, like it's the end of the story. Yeah. It's pretty generic. <laughs> You've seen that a lot of times yeah. already. Most of the anime plots are like that. Uh, there's a protagonist and an antagonist, there's a story, and then there's the love pair for this couple, and then one dies and something like that. So it's very generic. Linear and Siguro na pansin din namin in terms of materials, um, yung foreign, uh, yung outside has more access through uh, ano, materials compared to ito. Uh, it's really hard to find the right materials, so we have to, so we have to improvise. Most of us improvise and improvise. <laughs> Jennifer and Sarah, will you be traveling with? Uh, someone who will do your makeup and who will assist you with your costumes? Or no. talaga kayo na We make our costumes, we study the makeups ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of sort of like, if you have this pride as a cosplayer, what if you did everything yourself? It, yourself it's like, it feels much better when you learn how to do things for yourself. Yeah. So you take yeah. pride in that. You know, you know how to do it. You know, that. All right. So any more questions? Yes. Uh, do you also do you also get support from your fans? Hindi ba na expensive mo siya nila sa mga costumes? Actually, at first, um, my family this doesn't approve of this. Actually, most of I don't know if it's in the race, but um, uh, Chinese families are very strict when it comes to uh, being business minded and. To tell you the truth, I'm the only one, I think, in the family that was involved in arts and doing this. It was kind of new to the family, so they didn't approve of the hobby first because uh, you know, the question was, what do you get from it? Happiness. Oh. Actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a stress reliever. It's like, you pour, I, I, don't, know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's like, you keep this feeling inside and then you want to throw it all out and then this is what you, you make. The feeling you get when you like finish your costume and it's the day of the event and you put it on. I mean, it erases all those like hours of like sleeplessness, all those stress, all those bruises and cuts you get from like making your costume. When you're like wear your costume that you made yourself and then other people like appreciate your work. It's it really... Uh, I don't know, pay yes. all the stress you made. Alright. Um, can you can you describe to us the uh, costume that you will be using during the competition and then uh, what will your skit be like? Actually there's a request now for a short um, skit. Demo. Parang demo. Sample, uh, sample. Short demo, if that's possible. One or sample. Uh, as this character na lang muna. Okay. Not that competing costume. Oh, hindi pwede. Right. They can't wear this costume and then do a skit of that other costume kasi. So, skit on this particular character's demo. So, biglaan to kasi. Oh, yun. 30 seconds. Instagram, 50 seconds. I'm sort of overwhelmed right now. <laughs> we don't have our, ano pa say, our kagones. Uh, that's uh, our, yung our, uh, her centipede and yeah. wings. Oh, let's give him powers. Imagine na lang namin. Sige, konti lang. So we just want to see how you guys move. Kung possible lang. Magkikiss ba kayo? Chairman, please. Wag ganun tol. While they're talking, um, again, let me meet him lang sila. There are 26 competing co countries this year for the World Cosplay Summit. Uh, for this year, the Observer Nations are Canada and Sweden. Okay, so for two years, Observer Nation lang tayo. And then this year, na competing nation na tayo. Um, 
let me ask lang yung si Futomi, is it a standard for all the observer nations to uh, be such in that status for two years, every two years? Ah, uh, because third year mo, third year. compete ka na. Pero, may process pa sila na pwede pumasa din o pwede mong pay. Ah, pwede rin. Hindi pa mo. Wow. Alright, so um, let me ask lang si Miss Jojo. Si Miss Jo uh, accompanied the former um, ano to, uh, representatives natin for the past two years. Ano pong nakikita nyo na unique dito sa ating representative, representatives this year? Now, you, you think na mahang mananalo tayo? Well, they're really a pair um, from the start. So, buo yung ano nila, buo yung konsepto nung ano nila, the characters, the performance that they will have. And I think they are more prepared this time around. Okay. Si Jerman kaya muna mag-demo para sa atin. How many of you are into cosplaying then? Kayo mismo yung completely join? No. Mga, no. I write about it. You write about it lang. Oh. Pero yung kayo mismo nagka-cosplay, meron ba in this room? Wala. Okay. Lahat interested lang. Just, just write about it. Okay. Lahat gusto manood lang. Spectators lang kami. So, sige. Are you ladies ready? You ready? Lights, camera, action. Mm. Kanegi, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. Jennifer and Sarah. Palakpakan ulan, palit natin sila. So, um, any final words, po? Do you have um, any more questions? Any more questions, po, from the floor? Sige, pag wala na. Sige, um, I'll hand over the mic to Miss Jojo for um, the final words, message. Thank you all for coming today. Um, we're very excited to have our um, Team XO compete for um, to represent the Philippines in the World Cosplay Summit. Um, they will be representing all cosplayers in the Philippines, so um, we're very proud of them and we really hope that um, they will be successful in their campaign. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whatever happens, we'll make each, uh, I, I mean, we'll make everyone proud and not just the country, but uh, we want to leave a mark to other countries as well that we um, tayo basta last na a country. I, I really want to... May ibubuga rin yung mga Pilipinas. I'm really willing to give it all. I mean, we're really willing to give it all, sacrificing a lot. Just for just to get there. Thank you so um, I hope you guys will enjoy our performance. This is our third version of our skit, so it's like level up and been upgraded a lot of times. And um, please like send all your support and motivation. <laughs> so, Facebook. Uh, uh, <laughs> we do have a Facebook uh, account. It's E U R I K A and then the Chinese character I. You know that character from. Uh, you know that character from. Yeah, Yurika I. Yeah. So.
yeah. message you there. If, again, congratulations to both of you and uh, congratulations also, Ms. Roja. God bless you and uh, of course, we will root for you. Thank God you. Bless. Thank you so much. So, they will be there for, uh, they will fly out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. tomorrow. To meet with the other contestants as well at the airport. And then the World Cosplay Summit will run from Saturday this week until August 1. So nine days. But the competition is August 1. August 1. August 1. And there will be a live streaming so everyone can see each country's performance. Congratulations again. And of course, Hero TV is celebrating its 10th year this year. Congratulations, Hero TV. Photo up, Tayo.